We have Igbo language. Our topic says rules guiding na in Igbo language. Rules guiding na in Igbo language. Iwu na chi na. Nkembo na could be a conjunction. You write it in full. Example G na ede. Nwoke na wanyi. Elu na ala. Iha na kawabo. Na iwu na chi na. Na susu ibo. Ni ana. Iwu na chi ya nke mbo sre. Oburo na ana. No na alwaro deka njiko. Hmm? Njiko abo conjunction. Gi dezu o ye dezu. Otu edre yeba. Ji na ede. Iga hon edezu ya ni ana. Edezu ye dezu. Igo si no ya jiko tara. Ji na ede ono. Nwoke na wanyi. Elu na ala. Another rule says, when na is a preposition preceding a word that begins with a vowel, vowel letter, put apostrophe. Hmm? Iwo nka abu anase, oburu na oku ne sote na ni huya, na abu udume, anya mgo kwa nu udume no ge gara aga, na abichidi. Remember, we have five vowel letters in English. A, A, O, U, E in English. But in Igbo, you have extra three, making it eight. We have eight vowel letters in Igbo. A, A, O, U, E, O. O E eight vowel letters. So when any of this letter begins a word after na, you put apostrophe. That is what we mean. Iha ina kwa abo ni wunka abo ana chena na susu ibo na osere. Abro na opu ne sote na opu na be ya ni hu abro na abu dume. Nime asata anyi deleba on ha bu du me ni ibo. Obu no kwa hon bidro na a mo bu e mo bu o mo bu u mo i mo o mo o mo e. Obu no bu ha bidro yo o kwa hon. Giti nye yare komenu. O yi hon yifun. Example. No kuru. O kuru means under in English. Remember, under is a preposition. On, preposition. In, preposition. Ha bumbuzo. So, obro na oku ne so te ya ni hu di ko di eba. Okuru, ega hu o. O di ne eba, nuduma. Ne ne ya nya. O di eba. O bido kuwa, okuru. O ya mire a inji wopo a. Tinye ya reko menu. Maka nenga ha bia wete a. De ne eba, obro na. Na okuru ode homma. Hmm? Oku obu na mbido hanara. Na udume asata. Obu ya bidro noku. Ma ede chana. Ige wopo a tinye ya rekom. Na elu. On. Na aba. Inaba. Iga hoya. Ne wopo chana yamakana. Kabo a udume. Kabo e udume. Kabo o udume. Oya. Oya. Iti nye a rekom rekom. Ma na oboro na obu hon okun. Oboro na obu hon u dume a bidro ha. Ige dezu ye dezu. Ka hen kwa e bodi. Na a hiri okun. But when na is preceding a consonant. Right in full. But when na is preceding a consonant. Right in full. Consonant ibu numbo chume. Anya mugoni ya noge gara goga ene ebido. Ha di 28. Iri abo na sato mbo mbo chume. Mandi bara nkwe. Mandi abo henkwe. Oburo na. No bo. Nana ne ebido. Ne so nyere. Oku bidro na mbo chume. Ige dezu ye dezu. Ka ina anya example. Na nkalago. Na nkalago, iga hon, ne dezuru na e dezu, ni ana, o zuru oke. 
Enwe hi ebe tinyere li komenu. Mobu wepo a. Makana. O nkalago o bumbo chu me bidolo ya. Consonant. Nkalago starts with consonant. Ne. Ne. That is why we write this na in fu. In nkalago. Another example. Na Lagos. In Lagos. Ega hona na edezu yedezu makagene. Na okune okune so taya ni hu na obu hi udume odi he ba obu ungochu me consonant hmm oh ya mele edezu o yedezu another example na binin in bini ega hu na bi na obu ungochu me this letter or this word stands with consonant letter. That is why we write this na in full. Hmm? Another rule guiding na, the fourth one says, When na is auxiliary, write in full. We have learnt about auxiliary. Remember, auxiliary na. Hmm? Uses this hyphen. When na is auxiliary, write in full. Example, Eze na aga oro. Eze na aga oro. Eze is going to walk. Hmm? Remember, na. Na. It is a present continuous tense. Simple present continuous tense. That is na. Iho nya hu neme oga hu. Hmm? Ona ikuofu. Ona aboso. Ona irinri. That is na. Ige dezu ye dezu. Maoburu ebo na aroro deka angene. Auxiliary verb. When na is working in a sentence as, uh, as an auxiliary verb, you write in full. That is what we want to explain here, okay? Mbatu sara anyi ho zizia. Ne nanya, ne ba edere. Obunadi, et vowel letter sa in Igbo. Hmm? Udume asata. Ine nanya, opu obuna, ne so nye ni huna. Obuna obidu hona, opua. Mpulo kwa sata. Ge dezu ona e dezu. Afu ano obidro na. Obu na adin. Otu nimi ha. Ge tinyi adekome enu. Mwano. Keme siye no. Tu sara anyi ho zizia. Bye.